Good afternoon and welcome to the market summary. The UK FTSE 100 finished up 0.68% yesterday, closing on 6695 spot 66. US non-farm payrolls fell to 148,000 during September, which was way short of expectations. With analysts predicting the figure to be close on to 180,000, the recent release of data has raised fears that the US is losing some momentum. The unemployment rate fell from 7.3% to 7.2% in August, after being delayed due to the shutdown in the US. Despite the disappointing figures, markets were up as it now looks likely that the Fed will continue their QE programme. However, the dollar fell to its lowest level against the euro in two years. After increases in energy prices coming from three of the big six in recent weeks, MPs have called the energy bosses in to explain their recent price increases and to discuss a way of improving their transparency of profits. The government will come in for much criticism for these price rise announcements as Labour expressed their desire to freeze prices if they are voted in at the next election, something that is proving very popular amongst the voters. Scottish Power will look to follow suit in the coming months after being hit with a penalty by Ofgem for sales staff misleading customers. Scottish Power will have to pay customers £8.5 million as they fail to train staff and monitor their selling tactics during 2009 to 2012. Len Wardle, chairman of the Cooperative Group, which is the largest customer-owned business in the UK, will step down from his role next May. The company, that has reported £1.5 billion shortfall, which was noticed when they pulled out of the deal to buy Lloyd's branches, has been inundated with problems of late and has passed control to a group of bondholders and US hedge funds. Lidl and Aldi continue to muscle in on the big four supermarkets, moving their combined market share to 6.8%. Although this is way short of Tesco, who have a 30.1%, it is certainly a movement in the right direction, with customers becoming more comfortable with the two discount supermarkets. On the markets, Reckitt Benkais have finished up 5% after seeing a good third quarter, with sales increasing at a rate much faster than analysts expected. Reckitt also announced that they, they may sell the pharmaceutical unit valued at £2 billion, as sales from the heroin addiction drug have been on a steady decline. By selling the unit, it will allow them to focus on their core growing business which is consumer health and the household cleaning products. BHP, they climbed over 4% as the biggest mining company in the world released news that their quarterly iron ore output was much higher than forecast, leading them to raise their full year production estimates. Arm Holdings, however, dropped off over 3% after reporting a strong third quarter, posting profit before tax of £68.3 million. They continue to increase their customer base that are choosing to use arm technology, which in turn is increasing arm's royalty revenue. However, fears of a slowdown in the smartphone market have encouraged investors to take profits on their gains so far. Thanks for listening and tune in tomorrow.